So there are a few different ways that workflows can be triggered or started. In the prior video, we saw that, in my case, the workflow that I created was started automatically. Somebody added a document to the library, uploaded or created a new one, whatever method a document got into the library, the workflow ran. It got triggered automatically based on that event. Now, what about documents that are already in the library prior to when the workflow was created? Well, we can also manually trigger or start workflows. And this is really simple. Take a look. So I'm back inside of my training docs library. I'm going to go down to this April Fool special that I've created here inside the library back on April 8th. And I want to trigger the workflow here. So there's a few ways to do this, but what I'm going to do is finding my April Fool special, I'll go to the three little dots, give that a click. This brings me into kind of the sneak peek preview of the document. I'm then going to go to the three little dots again. And inside the flyout menu that comes out, I'm now going to go to advanced and then to workflows. Now, once I go into workflows, this will take me into an environment where I can find all the workflows that are tied to this library or tied to the specific type of document. Now, for me, I only got one training doc approval. So I'll give that a click. This is going to allow me to now run the workflow. And I'm not going to change anything. It still has my default behaviors that I already filled out when I initially created the workflow. If I'd like, I could change this. Remember, we're manually running this. So I could, you know, it's not Kyle anymore. It's going to be a Jocelyn that's going to do it. So I could change that there. Well, no, I'm just going to leave it. I remember I'm the only person. I'll go ahead and start it. But this is me manually starting the workflow on that document. And once again, give it a little bit of time to get that workflow running. Remember, it's doing a handful of things here. It's creating tasks. It's setting up the history list. It's sending out emails. It's doing all of this right now, so it's really working on it. So we'll give it just a moment to do its task. All right, so it's done its updating, and it's taking me back to my library. There's the April Fool special document, April 8th, and the workflow's in progress. So now I've manually started the workflow and if I hop into in progress once again like we saw earlier this takes me into the history get all the information about this workflow I just got a couple of emails I can go complete the task that process is all the same the only difference between what we talked about earlier automatic and this is we started the workflow manually remember I'll go back to my library here let's go back to training docs and how do we start it manually? Well, you find the document, you go to the three little dots, three little dots again. And in this interface here, I'm going to go to advanced and workflows. We need to find workflows. You trigger it from there. And it gives you the added bonus that you can modify the properties of the workflow, like who it's assigned to for approvals, tasks, due dates, and so on. You got all of that goodness right there. So you can run your workflows manually.